Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I think I like a horse. So we finally made it to Ljubljana. Ljubljana is actually a very small capital city. Apparently their population is around 285,000-ish people. Yeah, which Slovenia in general is a very small country. It's about the size of New Jersey and their total population is only about 2 million. Super tiny, super cute. So we're just gonna orient ourselves today and kinda walk around. Yep, here we go. Another fun fact for you. The Ljubljana city symbol is the dragon. How cool. That's pretty baller. <laughs> So our first two nights here in Ljubljana, we're staying at Hostel Selica, uh, which is about a 15 minute walk from the city center in what used to be a military prison. And now each of what used to be jail cells uh, have been converted to rooms. This was Ali and I's first hostel experience. So we don't really have much to compare it to. We're usually Airbnb ears mostly and then hotels if we can pay with points. But this was comfortable, the breakfast was super tasty, and uh, we'll show you around some of the common areas. From what we've heard, this is a very nice hostel experience. So, this is the floor we're staying on, and just down the hallway is the uh, bathroom slash shower. There are men's, and women's separate shower areas. The second floor is uh, like dorm style rooms. Some great little common areas. Laundry area. They've got a little bar area and breakfast area. This is where that was all served this morning. Some good areas to get work done or have a meal or just hang out. We took it easy this morning. We got up, we had the breakfast that's included with our stay. We sat and worked for a little bit and had some coffee. And now we're about to head out to see a movie. Well, we survived our two nights in the slammer, and now Allie and I are checking out of Hostel Celica. I'm very excited because Allie has concocted another homegrown food tour, this time in Ljubljana. What should I be looking forward to? All the food. All of it. Okay, everybody. We're at stop number one. No idea where Allie has led us. Babe? Copy. This is gonna warm us up, and this is gonna hold us over until lunchtime. Uh, this pastry is actually not traditional Slovenian, but Slovenia is known for their pastries, so. This is amazing. I know, it's so good. This is a specialty coffee shop, so he was kind of walking us through all the things about the beans and how it was grown. Didn't understand a lick of it because I don't know a lot about coffee, but it is delicious. I heard him say they were kind of like a boutique winery, but for coffee. Exactly. And I am tasting the deliciousness. Mmm. 
is our beautiful pastry we're gonna share while we drink our coffee. Apple walnut pie. Said it would go good with the coffee. So that's what I got. Yum. Weird to pick up and eat a pie with my hands. Remember a second ago when I said that this was gonna be weird? That was amazing. <laughs> it's great. I eat pie for breakfast now, guys. <sighs> oh, that was so good. Now we're headed to the market. If I were a guessing man, I'd say the Christmas tree is about to go up. All right, we've done our meandering. I've done all our browsing and all our little shops. Not all. Well, not all. Saw them putting up the Christmas tree, and uh, now I guess it's lunchtime. Babe, where are we going? We are going to get soup and dumplings, a traditional Ooh. Slovenian dumpling. Okay. So we're at Mohi's Strukli, and we got a big lunch, and I didn't mean to, but I wanted to try a bunch of things. So we've got traditional Slovenian soup, which is called Jota. It's a cabbage and bean stew. Something called spoon bread, which is like a buckwheat, ready kind of like bread pudding thing. Strukli, which is something we've been wanting to try since Croatia. We got the traditional version, which is cottage cheese. And then we also got a sausage, but that's not special what we do. It's special to me. That is hearty and tangy. Okay, spoon bread. I'm not really sure what to expect here. Honestly, I could pass on that. It's kind of mushy. I'm okay on that. And I'll try the... It's a clove of sarna, right? Is that how you say it? Or? Yeah. It's basically kielbasa. Try this and tell me what you think. Okay. That's good though. Okay. They don't call it fork bread. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. I don't know. It's, I don't dislike it, but it's not particularly compelling to me. Try this. I like that. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right, we're gonna dig in. <sighs> oh man, I'm full. I'm not too full, but I wouldn't say that that was my most favorite meal that okay. we've had. Um, the soup was good. I'm not a fan of spoon bread. Strukli is good too. I think if we had maybe like more of a dessert strukli, I could really get on board. It. You know, I'm glad we tried the more traditional stuff. I I enjoyed it. I know you're maybe cooling a little bit on like having sausage. Uh, so, I mean, I'm almost never against having a sausage or kielbasa or bratwurst or whatever, but uh, I thought the, thought the soup was good. Spoon bread, yeah, a little, little different for me. Um, the strukli was honestly not really my favorite. More shopping and then more food later. Yes. <laughs> So this next place, I personally am super excited about because it's a honey place, and I love honey. Me I eat too. a lot of honey back home. But Slovenia is known for their honey. For such a small country, they have more beekeepers per capita than any other country in the world. It's, it's like a pretty, it's still the single digits, I think, but it's a pretty insane percentage of the people that live here are beekeepers. Yeah, and so we wanted to find a place that we could taste some honey, but also like they have a lot of different types of honey products. Like even here, they've got like honey-based medicinal products, mm. which is interesting. So I'm excited to learn more about honey and get some tastings, hopefully. I'm excited to eat the honey, mostly. <laughs> yes. But if you want to rub it on my ankle or something, that's cool too. That sounds sticky. All right, we're gonna eat the honey now. What do we got here? Creamed honey. Let's see. That's so good. I really like that. Yeah? <laughs> that one's really good. I'll try. Thank you. Orange. <laughs> I really like that. That's so good. Mmm. 
This is Linden honey. Mm. I don't even know how to describe that. <laughs> That's interesting. It's like almost sour tasting. Mm -hmm. Chestnut. Oh, I like the chestnut. Honey. Yeah, it's going to be more stronger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. more, uh, besides Ooh. the honey liquor, the pure honey liquor. Okay. Uh, this was the one with the propolis, you yes, said? Yes, be darker, yes. And then this was? Just the pure honey liquor. Okay, we'll start here. Mm -hmm. what, what do you say in... Nostravia. Nostravia. Mmm. Mm. That's like... Yeah. A little, little smudger, sweet. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> I like that. I think the percentage is yes, the same, but the propolis adds to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. What do you think? What do you think? I like the lighter one more. <laughs> So, a little educational stop on our food tour. Mmm. What was your favorite? I think my favorite overall was the cream honey. I like the regular one. Um, of the traditional honeys, my favorite was the chestnut honey. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, that just was very full. And then of the liqueurs, which I didn't think they would let us try. Yeah. I'm glad he did. Um, of the liqueurs, I liked the darker one which had some of the propolis in it yeah that place is amazing if you're in Ljubljana stop they're so friendly yeah. they'll let you try anything and they ship worldwide yeah so you can go to honey house um, online I would just google it uh, we'll drop a link to their website in the description below uh, but they ship worldwide so you can try it and I mean they take honey very seriously here and it is absolutely delicious all right stop number three four because we coffee lunch honey. honey in this place we're at Vigo ice cream we heard about this place on the extra pack of peanuts podcast Ali saw it on TripAdvisor and a bunch of other lists of places we had to go so we're trying the ice cream I got the namesake Vigo which is mascarpone ice cream with Nutella and hazelnuts and it looks really good I got the Pino which is chocolate and peanuts and salted Caramel, I yeah. believe. Awesome. Cheers. Mm. Wow. Mm. The mascarpone ice cream is so good. Mm. I think we can just stop the tour now. This is incredible. This is like the, some of the best ice cream I've ever had. Yum. <laughs> Holy crap. Licked it clean. I didn't actually. You watched. Any other comments about Vigo? Just. Superb. 10 out of 10. So tonight, we're breaking out of prison and staying at the Intercontinental here in Ljubljana. It's a newer hotel and we're staying for absolutely free. 17th floor, door opening. Come on in. So we are on the top guest room floor in a corner room. Look at how big the bed is. Nice king bed. King club, I believe they called it. Um, but check out the view. We have views on two sides. Can really get a great view of Ljubljana. Ali is particularly excited about the bathroom. This is a lovely bathroom and check out the tub. How many hotel rooms have you stayed in that have a tub? Big ol' beautiful tub. She's definitely gonna take a bath later with the amazing view of Ljubljana. This whole room we got for free by signing up for the IHG Chase Card. I'll put a link below. Uh, we also have articles and other things on our site about how to do travel hacking and how to play the points and miles game. So you definitely want to check that out. <sighs> to be honest with you, to, to be, could I be transparent? We debated not even continuing the food tour. Because the hotel 
is just that good. We we were like, man, should we just order takeout and sit in our bed and watch Netflix tonight? <laughs> but we're gonna go out and eat dinner at our final stop, Dabuda. I got cashew chicken with rice. A basic of you. I'm just gonna taste the filling. Like the chicken. It feels so healthy compared to the sausage that I've been eating <laughs> the last few days, but the chicken has a good like tempura fry on it. Nice and light sauce. Lots of cashews. I cannot complain about this. Yeah, it looks really good. And I got a chicken penang curry, which we eat Thai food probably once a week back home. I am such a curry fan. Um, excited about this, to say the least. Got all the garnish there. Mm. Really good. I'm tired of talking. I need to shovel this into my face now. I'm so full. Yeah, that was great. Completely not Slovenian, um, but I think like you said earlier, that's one of the great things about eating in a capital city. Yeah. All right, 10 minute walk back to the hotel. We decided to end the night with a little bit of a nightcap here on the rooftop bar at the Intercontinental. We're gonna get a good night's sleep and wake up in the morning and continue our journey on to Budapest. Yes, and so if you enjoyed following us around Ljubljana today, uh, personally, I think Ali did a really good job constructing this from scratch. If you wanna see more of that, like and subscribe Away Together with Nick and Ali. And my friends, we will see you in Budapest. Have a good night. So, there is one location here in Ljubljana that I for sure wanted to hit before we leave. We decided against making it part of the food tour, so we're calling it a bonus stop. If you notice, I'm the only one with food here. Ali did not wish to partake, but smashed a workout at the Intercontinental. They had a great gym this morning, so needed some protein. We came to Hot horse, and by the sound of the name, I think you can probably guess what they serve here. Horse. I got a horse burger. Um, Mom, I would turn it off right now. Anybody else? You know, don't, don't at me. Here we go. Man, that's a great bun. Really great bun. I didn't get very much meat in that bite. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I think I like a horse. Hot horse, Ljubljana. Nay. Um, it was good, I can honestly say I would come back and eat that again. I can also honestly say I'm very sorry to any of the horse people out there and to every horse I've ever ridden.